All right, today, you guys, we are talking about a hot topic button issue. You know, this is, this is, it's a hot topic. Okay, so, you know, get ready for that. Okay, I want to start off with a warning. Now, the warning is... This um, video will have talks of racism and hatred among groups of people. So if that is something that triggers you, you have been warned. And I would also like to say a disclaimer, and that is that I am stating facts that I found and the opinions of others. I am not saying that this is, you know, my opinion in any way. Now, I do have notes here because that keeps keeps me on track and it helps me keep the facts straight. So, I am going to be <laughs> looking at my notes. Now, um, I want to get started. Okay, this is a makeup and chit chat. And um, I like to talk about many different things, actually. And the reason that I'm doing my makeup is not to take away in any way the seriousness of what we're talking about not to minimize it in any way anything like that it is simply to give me something to do while I'm talking and to give you something to watch something to look at while I'm talking so that is why I do my makeup. Okay, my hands wet from wetting my sponge. Now, oh, and if you want to know what I'm using, if you're actually interested in the makeup and what I'm using, it will be all listed in the description box below. Now, this video we're going to be discussing um, World War II, the Holocaust, and Hitler. Now I was going to, um, I was actually going to make this video in a sense and discuss it at a later time, like I had that planned. But then, well, first let me say, um, I had this, I was going to do this video anyways, in a sense, for two different reasons. One, it had, it pertains to another case in history that I am going to be discussing. So I wanted to, you know, I definitely wanted to touch on this. And another thing is, um, I could never... I could never understand why people followed Hitler and his, you know, thoughts or ideas and basically general awfulness. I could never understand why people followed him and how he got them to follow him. So those were the reasons why I was planning on making this video anyways. But then I'm sure you're all aware that Whoopi Goldberg on The View made a statement. Now, I'm going to just read this to you so that I don't so that I don't get it wrong. They were talking about a certain topic. You can look it up and see how they got here to this. And she stated Let's be truthful about it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. And then she went on to say, but these are two white groups of people. You're missing the point. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews, 
everybody eats each other. Now, this caused quite an outrage. You know, like that, uh, it, it caused quite an outrage, at, which is understandable. Um, and she did go on and she issued an apology and she basically said that her words were wrong and hurtful and you know that that wasn't what she said wasn't exactly what she meant blah 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 you can look it up and read her apology but she did issue one so <laughs> i i decided to you know i was going to start this off by looking up, we all know what racism is, right? But I decided to look up the actual definition of racism. You know, see what the actual definition is. It is the belief that groups of humans possess different behavioral traits corresponding to inherited attributes and can be divided based on the superiority of one race over another. Okay? So that is the technical definition of racism. So, with that being said, Hitler had stated that the war, World War II, was about creating a new racial order where Germans were superior, Slavs inferior, and Jews had no place. If by definition, going off the definition of racism, it is it said the superiority of one race over another. And Hitler simply, matter-of-factly, stated that Germans were, in fact, superior. So, we've got that. If you can hear my son in the background, he's playing video games in his room, and I'm sorry. Moving on. Now, I looked up the definition of Holocaust. Now, holy smokes. Now, Holocaust, by definition, is the destruction or slaughter on a mass scale. Now, Hitler's Holocaust was the eradication of undesirable people, it was an industrialized slaughter. So, by definition of racism, it's dividing people based on superiority. And Hitler was, in fact, dividing people based on superiority and causing destruction. So, now that we know how everything actually falls by term, let's talk about who was ideal, who was Hitler's ideal race. This pure race, as he called it. Now, Hitler's pure race was the Aryan, which I've seen in, you know, in my research, I've seen pronounced as Aryan and Aryan. Now, so I'm sorry if, you know, I don't pronounce it right. I, I really tried, I really tried to look it up and find the, you know, the proper, the proper way to pronounce it. 
Now this was a debunked racial concept, but this this is what this is what he said. You know, these were the people with the, the pure race. Now, what did they look like? What was his physical, you know, of what this pure race what this pure race was going to look like, okay? This pure race would be white, tall, blonde hair, and blue eyes. Now I'm laughing simply because Hitler was in fact a, um, he was in fact a white man with blue eyes. But dude was also 5'9 with dark brown hair. <laughs> and that, I mean, I just, that just kind of strikes me because it's like, you know, he, this is what he preached. This is what he was all about. He went on and on about this pure race. And this is, this is what we need to strive for. And these are the attributes, you know, that they would have or features. And he didn't even fit them. It's like, what did he tell people? Was he like, this, this is, this is perfection, guys. This is pure. This, this is what we need to be, you know, this, this is it. Just ignore the fact that I don't actually fall into this category, but it's fine. It's fine. You know, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know how that was, you know, reasoned or or whatever but that's that was his idea of a pure a pure race this is this was his goal so now we're going to get into the why and the how the why why did people follow him and how did he get them to do it because this is what I'll, I always couldn't understand we all know Hitler as this you know this evil person with this hatred you know this racist calling it like I see it now how I could never understand how did one man get so many people to follow him right okay so this is what happened Hitler was in World War One now while there he got wounded by mustard gas. So when he came home after the war, he was a wounded veteran. And so him, along with other patriotic Germans, they were outraged and humiliated by the harsh terms of the Treaty of Versailles, which was a result of World War I. Now, I didn't want to get into my, you know, into all of this, um, you know, because I'm trying to, you know, condense this down a little bit for you. Um, I didn't want to get all into um, what that treaty was. You can look it up yourself. But they, you know, they were just outraged by this. And Germany, as a result of this treaty, was crumbling. They had to now pay a lot of money out, and they just weren't doing good. Germany was struggling. <clears throat> so, Hitler started convincing people that creating a pure race would basically help get Germany right back on track that because the Germans were superior and if they could create this superior race Germany would get back on track and start to flourish again great right you know this is what we all want we need Germany we need Germany back on track okay so this is what he's going out and preaching not preaching preaching I don't know Use, you know, however you want to term it. So, his intent was to conquer Europe. The, his intent of World War II. 
the whole, you know, the purpose, the meaning, the, the why, you know. His intent was to conquer Europe for the benefit of the Aryan, Aryan race. And basically, take over land to control and create his supreme race, okay? We're all on board now, right? This is what Hitler's trying to do. Hitler is trying to, you know, he wants to take, take over Europe, take over as much as he can, basically, and create his, you know, supreme race, and then they were just gonna, they were just gonna conquer the world, you know? This is, this is what needed to happen, and Germany could be on top, and that's just the way it would be, okay? So, great, that was his goal. Um, not great, but you know what I'm saying, in his mind. So, Hitler hated the Jews. Hated the Jews. Why? Why did Hitler hate the Jews? Well, basically, they didn't fall into, they didn't fall into his idea of this pure race, this pure, supreme, perfect race. They didn't fall into it. And, you know, it's like Hitler starts looking around and um, he's like, there's a lot of Jews around here. There's a lot of Jews around here and they're unpure. They're unpure. They're not going to help make this pure race. And there sure is a lot of them. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Germany's crumbling right because of the reasons we stated germany's crumbling and so he starts to tell people you know he had been telling them that you know we need to create this pure race we need to create this pure race because that's what's going to get us back on track right so and like i said he noticed you know tons of jews jews everywhere right so he had already been getting the idea, the thought, if you will, into people's heads about this pure race. <clears throat> so now he's telling them, these Jews are impure. They're unpure. And you know what that, there is a lot of them, and they are trying to take over Germany. They're impure. They don't fit with the idea of our supreme pure race that's going to help Germany get on top and flourish. No, no, no. They're trying. They are unpure and they are trying to take over. It's basically just like Jews are bad, guys. Jews, the Jews over there, they are bad. They're going to take us over. They're bringing in Africans. The Jews. The Jews are bringing in Africans. <gasps> That's not a pure race. And now the Africans are reproducing with the white people. And that's not helping the pure race get anywhere, right? This has got to stop. And people are like, well, crap. Germany's crumbling. We need this pure race to get going again because that's that's what's going to help us get on top, right? So, and now, you know, these Jews, these Jews, these Jews want to take over and and not only are they impure, but they're, they're making it, they're just creating more and more and more unpureness, okay? So that's basically how Hitler manages to get people on board with, you know, this, this whole, you know, this whole idea. Every, basically he's like, 
our life as we know it is going to hell in a handbasket and they're causing it and they're going to take over. We're going to be nobody. And people are like, well, crap. So that is why people followed him and how he managed to get them to do it. It's crazy, right? Looking back now, it's like, it was just, it was, it was just pure racism, you know, it, but okay, we'll move on. We'll discuss that later. Okay. So. Jews, Jews at the top of Hitler's list, right? Now, during the course of the war, the Nazi military forces rounded up and executed roughly 11 million victims. Now, it's hard, I, I, you know, I, I did, I put in the time, I did the research, but it's hard to know exactly how many victims there were because it, it was just so bad like it's hard you know records whatnot you know it's hard to know exactly how many victims there were but roughly 11 million and it is stated that again roughly 6 million of them were Jews that those are numbers that I feel like we can't even comprehend. You know what I mean? Now, so he um, he rounded up these people and that he deemed were inferior or undesirable. Okay? It's time for them to go. So, we know he hated the Jews, and we know why. I'm not saying it was a good reason, I'm just saying we know. Right? Okay. So who else? Who else was targeted by Hitler? There was the Slavs. Now, I couldn't really find much on why why the Slavs, like why he hated them so much, short of the fact that they just didn't fit in with his idea of a pure race. Other than that, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, please, down below, but that's all I could find for his reason for hating the Slavs was just simply based on they just didn't fit the idea. So they had to go. Okay. So who else was there? Well, there was homosexual men. That's right. That's right. Hitler was not a fan of the gay men community. Now, at this point in time, being a homosexual man was actually against the law. Okay? So it was against the law. See, facts here, people. Okay. But, that, even that being the case, it was still, um, it was still common enough, you know? There were gay bars and, and whatnot. It was against the law, but, it, you know, they were around. And it was kind of like, whatever, I guess, until Hitler was like, whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second. And from what I could find was basically his reason for, you know, like, yes, it was against the law, but basically the homosexual men were not helping or aiding in any way in the creation of his pure race. You know, they're not helping bring babies into this world. They're not, you know. So, it's illegal anyways. They gotta go. They gotta go. 
you know, they're not helping me. Gots to go. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I couldn't really find anything on homosexual women. It just kept saying homosexual men. So I don't really know what the thoughts on homosexual women were, you know, were there really not gay women? I mean, you would think that there were, right? And, you know, what? why was that not illegal? Why was that not a target of Hitler? Because they wouldn't be helping, you know, move the race along, you know, either. So I don't really know. I don't really know. I couldn't, I couldn't find anything about homosexual women, just homosexual men. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one. But yeah, so gay men, they got, they got to go. It's illegal and you're not helping. You're not helping them. You're not helping the situation at all. You know, you're doing nothing for us. It's time for you to go too. So who else? Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses, as a faith, don't believe in idolizing a person. It is, um, you know, they believe in, you know, you should only honor, obey, idolize, I guess, um, just only God, not, not a human. You shouldn't put a human on that level, okay? So, <clears throat> not only would they refuse to idolize Hitler, <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a lot of phlegm going on today, um, not only would they not idolize Hitler, but they um, would not, it says in the Bible um, that, you know, we are not to kill, you know, do not kill, do not murder, I, but, um, and if you join the military, obviously, you will most likely at some point, or at least there's a solid chance, that you're going to be killing somebody. So, they won't, you know, idolize a human, and they do not believe in joining the military. So, that didn't work for Hitler, you know. He's like, he didn't generally... He, he ended up making it illegal to be a Jehovah's Witness. So, um, and it wasn't so much a race thing as it was a control thing with them, from what I understand. Um, now, these were the only ones that I could find in my research. This was the only um, group of people that did have a choice. They, um, they had the choice to leave the concentration camps, okay? But the only way they could leave was if they signed a paper. And this paper was of them taking an oath of loyalty to Hitler and be willing to join the military. Now, what I, from what I could find was, um, you know, there were some that did. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, concentration camps. You know what I mean? Like, but from what I found, generally, for the most part, they did not. So, they basically stayed in the concentration camps sort of by choice, by faith, is what I would say. Now, I know a lot of people have different, differing, dif, differenting, you know what I'm saying, views of Jehovah's Witnesses, but I, you know, I mean, I think all of us can agree that to have you know, a faith so strong 
that you are willing to endure what you endured and even potentially be put to death. I mean, that's, that's some pretty noble stuff, um, you know? Okay, so then, now blacks. Now, not all blacks were necessarily rounded up and put into concentration camps. I'm not saying that none were. I'm just saying not necessarily, and we'll get into more here shortly on what they were definitely doing. But um, he didn't like Africans. He didn't like blacks. Basically for no other reason than pure racism. They were black. The supreme pure race was supposed to be white. Period. You know, that's that's really all it comes down to. And, oh, yes. And not only were they black, so they didn't fit into, you know, the idea of this pure race. But they were also, they were also reproducing with the white people. Mm -mm -mm. That's not helping. Give me one second while I finish this. Okay, so yeah, they were reproducing with the white people. Now, darn it, that was messing up the pure race. You know, what are you guys doing? White, tall, blonde, blue eye. Quit reproducing with the white people. Now you're making biracial babies. <sighs> so that's why you didn't like them. The Freemasons. Now this one I actually didn't know, and I came across and I was like, interesting. The Freemasons were believed to be part of a conspiracy working against the interests of German nationalism. Okay? They're working against us. They're working against us. They are secretly working against us. Got to go. So, basically, it came down to, um, there were also, um, gypsies, people with disabilities, communists, socialists, criminals, um, if there's more that I'm not specifically naming, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. Basically, it was anyone that didn't agree with or didn't coincide with his goal. So if you didn't, he got to the point where it wasn't, you know, just necessarily about you not fitting, you not fitting in with, you know, the, just, just not fitting in with the lines of the pure race, but now you don't agree with me, you gotta go, you gotta go, because you, you know, he can't have people disagreeing with him. How is that going to help? No. He wants to stay in power. He wants to stay, you know, you don't agree, you're out. Okay. So, and I'm not going to get into details of what was done at concentration camps. I feel like we all know. If you don't know and you want to know, you can look it up. I'm not here to get into the gory details. So, what else did he do besides just simply scooping people up and taking them to concentration camps? Sterilization. We don't necessarily have to pick up all these people and take them away and have to deal with them. We're just going to sterilize them. Easy, right? So they had, <clears throat> sorry, I have to read. They had, I couldn't read my writing there for a second, genetic health courts, okay, where doctors and lawyers work together to 
to decide who would and that was basically anyone that was deemed not pure enough to reproduce with the goal of this pure race okay so you know their goal of this Aryan pure race of tall white blondes with, with blue eyes you know if you didn't fit that something has to be done you can't keep making babies that aren't gonna fit this you know aren't gonna fit this status quo that we're setting here so and the individual had no choice no choice in the decision so they would just take them and they would sterilize them and um, I'm not talking about just adults here no adults teenagers children especially especially the biracial ones because you know he's already jacked off that you know these biracial bi you know kids were created to begin with what the crap you know we don't want them do mixing it any further they have to be sterilized you know so by the end of the nazi regime they had sterilized nearly 360,000 individuals. I, I guess I never, when I knew of the Holocaust, I knew the concentration camps, you know what I mean? I knew that it was, you know, uh, primarily Jews, but not all Jews, that there were other people involved, you know, in the hatred. Um, that were targeted, I mean, but um, I don't remember ever hearing about the sterilization. And they also be believed that the strong and the racially pure, they, they, they needed to be encouraged to have more, tri more children. And while the weak and the racially impure had to be I'm sorry. I can't read my writing to the exact wording. But the basically the weak and the impu the racially impure had to be stopped by one means or another. So not only are they taking people and sticking them in concentration camps for not being good enough or not agreeing with them no no they um they're also sterilizing people but if you you know you you over there you you are exactly what we're looking for this is exactly what we want our race to be you know you you are racially pure that was the case they're like yes you gotta have babies you gotta have babies and you gotta have more babies and babies and babies and babies and babies okay give me one second while i put my lashes on okay so now in conclusion I think that we can all agree that um, World War II and the Holocaust were racially driven. You know, I think we can, I think we can all agree on that. Right? Right. I mean, there's really no other way to spin it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. Now, Whoopi received a two-week suspension for her comments. And like I said, she did issue an apology. Did she do that on her own accord? I don't know. Was she made to do that? I don't know. But she did, in fact, issue an apology. Okay? Great. Now, when I was reading, you know, the different articles 
on on this on what she said and um, you know whatnot I um, I was reading the comments left by people you know on these news articles okay now some of the comments that I've read and I am not in any way saying that these are my opinions I am just simply saying that these are some of the comments that I've read I've read that she was suspended because she's black and if she was white she would have just been straight up fired now first I just want to say this this statement in and of itself is also racist it is you know but that's you know that's how some people feel about it you know they that's that's how they feel about it okay and others now others have said that you know they may or may you know they may not, or may not I don't know agree with her in her statement however we are also to have freedom of speech in the United States. We're supposed to, right? So that being said, you know, she shouldn't have been suspended. These people saying, I mean, that she shouldn't have been suspended because we're supposed to have freedom of speech. She's just exercising her freedom of speech, right? So, I don't, I mean, I get that. I get that. We are technically supposed to have freedom of speech. But, so what do you think? Do you think that she should not have been suspended? Do you think that she should have been suspended? Do you think that she should have been fired? What do you think? I want to hear in the comments down below, because I'm interested. I am. I'm interested to see, you know, how what people think, how people feel. I didn't spray my face. And um, now this is another one that I find interesting. Um, another thought on the whole subject. Would you, this is something else I want your opinion on, would you classify Hitler and the Nazis as a cult? Because I was thinking this as I was reading everything, you know, I'm like, it's kind of cult-like, right? It's kind of it's kind of cult-like. So I looked up the definition of cult, and there's kind of different ways, you know, that it could be interpreted or the definition. So people that feel like a cult is re like it's strictly religiously based, okay? Strictly religiously based, they're saying no, because he didn't speak of religion per se. Jews are religion, yes, the Jewish religion. Jehovah's Witnesses are a religion, yes, but it was, it wasn't, he wasn't preaching per se. So they, some say no, not a cult. But then others that believe that a cult is just simply more of a person, um, basically getting a bunch of, a group together, you know, a bunch of people together and, you know, influencing them on the thoughts and actions and whatnot, you know, and that's the definition of a cult. And on, if you feel like that's more of the accurate definition of a cult, then I would say it does fall in the category of a cult. So I'm leaning more towards yes, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think down below. And then in closing, I just want to apologize if I left anything out. Um, I'm not trying, I was not at any point trying to offend anybody, you know, I was just stating facts, stating opinions of others, and trying to, you know, reenact or give you an idea of the way things were going down. You know, I am not a racist person by any means. My husband is biracial, half black, half white. I'm Italian, and I don't have an ounce of German in me. I've, I've done, I had my, you know, I did the DNA thing. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm sorry if I offended anybody. 
that's not the intention and if I left anything out you know I'm sorry if you want to put it down below by all means you know if there's a fact or anything that I missed go right ahead but um that's all I've got for today guys Whew. it's a heavy one right it's pretty heavy so um yeah let me know down below what you guys think and that's it for today thanks for watching subscribe if you like stuff like this and um yeah hit the like button you know if you liked it <laughs> and i'll see you next time guys bye